Hello, I'm Ineos from TorateCinematics.com and in this tutorial series I will be teaching you uh, how to import your footage correctly in Premiere Pro. Um, in the previous, uh, previous tutorial I've explained the interface of Premiere Pro and I would recommend watching this tutorial and the other tutorial first and then watch this tutorial so you can follow along with the interface of Premiere Pro because it's kind of important that you understand it. Um, then once you open up Premiere Pro you will see a window pop up with um, whether you want a new project, open a project or open a recent project you want to click a new project as you have never made a project before if you're watching this tutorial uh, well I hope so then we have over here some settings and you don't actually have to change anything about these settings and just keep them standard what they, uh, what they are um, but if you want to work with frames instead of time code you can go to frames uh, frames are the amount of pictures um, shown in each second of film so uh, for film that's 24 frames by the way um, but I won't go too deep into that because um, it's yeah a completely different uh, tutorial and we're just making a tutorial on how to uh, start editing in Premiere Pro so uh, over here we have the location of our folder uh, of our project so go to browse and I will save it to the desktop but I would definitely recommend not doing that because that's a complete mess and as you can see I have nothing on my um, desktop it's just for the sake of this tutorial that I'm doing this but I would recommend making a separate folder somewhere safe um, called Premiere projects or something like that and then you have all your Premiere Pro projects over there um, and I would even recommend in that Premiere Pro project um, folder to create a new project folder uh, for that uh, exact project that you're making so um, I also always rename my projects to PR underscore which means Premiere and um, the PR stands for Premiere and it's just easier if I have lost a project on my computer I can go to the search function over here and then I will just enter PR underscore and then I will get all the projects made in Premiere Pro so for example for Photoshop I use PS uh, for After Effects I use AE and that's just an easier way to work with so um, that's what I do um, I will rename it to PR underscore tutorial and then I will click OK and you will see that it will create a folder and a project uh, file for this um, exact project so if you double click on it it will open up uh, Premiere if it uh, hasn't already been opened and you will see the project so um, next you will get a window with new sequence and over here we have the sequence presets all standard in Premiere Pro you have all these folders and a custom folder and I like to make my own custom uh, settings but if you over here you can see if you have a DVNTC and you want to use a standard you can go over there and just use that standard function uh, and you don't have to create your own settings so that's also a way to go um, if you have filmed your, with your camera, the most important thing is to know which dimensions you have used. And if I go to my footage over here that I have filmed, I can see that it's 1920 by 1080p, which is full HD in other words. Um, so I will go for that. And I know that I have 23.976 uh, uh, frames. So I will also change these in my settings and you have to know that but um, I will explain later if you don't know the frames on how to see that um, in your project. So I'll click over here create a new setting and if you click on anything so you should start with something basic uh, whatever you want and I would recommend going to HDV 1080 24 frames okay go to settings and over here the time base is 23.9676 uh, and that's the exact amount of frames that I'm using in my videos over here so that's great and all the rest is uh, good for me to go 20, uh, 48 Hertz and I don't use uh, 1440 uh, I use 9020 so I will change that as well and then if you're uh, if you think your settings are correct you can just save this preset rename it to something logical and then you have your sequence name to take care of um, but if you're not making a full-length film I would just recommend using this and it doesn't really matter what it's named or I always call it main underscore main so it always gets on top on my project click OK and there we get, uh, have our project so 
this is the interface and again if you haven't seen the previous tutorial go to the previous tutorial so you can understand the interface uh, from Premiere Pro so now what we want to do is import our footage and you can do that on many different ways you can go to file and import or you can go to right click on here in the projects panel import or you can go to your finder or your folders and just drag in your footage I always uh, use import or I just drag in my footage and that's the easiest way for me to work now what you can see over here is uh, the frame rate again and if you make it a little bit larger you can see the video information and I can see over here that I have wrong settings so um, I have done this on purpose just if I click on my um, original footage that I've imported for my uh, Canon and you see that you have uh, wrong settings you can just dra drag and drop it into the timeline and then it will ask to change the sequence settings to the uh, settings of your footage that you have imported and I'll always click on change sequence settings and then it's automatically updated over here in the video info um, to change your uh, your information so you can now delete that because I never uh, or ever once uh, if I make a montage I never import it right Im immediately in my timeline because it's a uh, mess to work with um, the easiest way what I do is double click on the thumbnail of my uh, video because if you double click on the text you'll uh, be able to rename it I double click on the thumbnail and then I will get a preview of what I've been filming and over here you can see um, what you have been doing to film it and I see over here I get to see my drone so I will pick this um, piece of video footage and I will import it in my timeline over here I lost it so I will go at the start where it enters the frame then I will press the E on the keyboard or press this key over here to mark in and that will make a marquee for the endpoint of this video then I will go to the end where I want to stop this uh, video over there I want to stop it right over here press the O for art point or you click on this mark out uh, key and now what you want to do is or if you want uh, if you want to add the audio with your video you can drag and drop by just clicking on your video dragging it into your timeline and putting it in the video layer over here and then you will see it automatically adds the audio with it um, if you move around your video your audio just follows um, along um, so we can delete it again if you only want the video from that uh, specific uh, time over here you just want to click over here drag video only and if you drag it over here you will see no audio has been added and the exact same thing for the audio you can just import your audio only without any video so depending on what you want you can do it like that but in this case I want the video and the audio so I'll import it that way okay so um, now what I was I going to say I was going to oh yeah if you move around you can see your audio is moving with it and if you don't want that you can right click on your video footage and just click on link and now you can move them separately so if you click on the left it will deselect um, if you click somewhere else in your timeline um, but your footage you will deselect your footage and now you click and uh, can click on the footage and move it around and the audio will stay in the exact same spot and so now you can select them both again and relink them if you want to if you have made a mistake and you want to relink them again you can do it that way so now we can also import a folder of course because now I have only imported one video and I don't want that I want to import my complete Canon uh, footage so I'll import it this way and automatically Premiere Pro remembers the folder and now we have a folder with your audio so we can delete this actually but I won't well I will delete it and deleting footage is by clicking on the thumbnail and then clicking here clear or delete or the delete key on your keyboard you can also create your own folder if you have uh, if you have different kind of footage from uh, all those things that you have imported you can create new folders and rename this to Canon footage 2 for example and then you can just drag and drop everything in there you can also create a new folder with sequences uh, and you can just drag and drop your sequence in there but um, you won't need that really now so I'll delete those two things if you want to create a new sequence you can just click over here 
can create a new sequence or you can create anything else but those are for other videos and not for this video so now you know how to import your video and how to add it to the timeline and now you can just start messing around with your timeline a, a bit in the next few tutorials i will be going over the um editing functions in premiere pro the effects and so on so thanks for watching this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and goodbye